In this example, we're using a map as a navigational device to allow users to be able to navigate to different tours that are available from this cycling tours provider. The number of tours available in each country is pulled dynamically from the content database. In this example, alongside being able to view search results as a list, you can also view them on a map. That map uses clusters so that the user can zoom into a particular area and find the tour that they want to look at. Obviously, as they zoom in, those clusters dissipate. Once the user finds the result they're looking for, an overlay summarises the information about that result, allowing them to click through to a page which gives more detail. In this example, a cycling tour, we also use a map to show the tour route. And here you can see both of those first examples played out on a mobile phone to demonstrate how we're able to take this mapping information and make it work well on smaller screens. On the Lambda website, we created a tool which allows users to be able to find music, drama or dance teachers in their local area. So, on this map, a user can go in and search by postcode or by town, or by teacher name. So, in the first example, I'm searching on BM1, and you can see that I get my results in that area, and then I get a little overlay that shows me the details of that teacher. I'm now going to go and search for a teacher's name, so searching for Smith, you can see a list of teachers called Smith appears underneath that search results and then I can then navigate to that area in the map and then click through to that teacher's page. This example for the NHS combines the two so it allows me to search for services using my postcode but also to filter whether I want to look for a GP, hospital, optician or dentist etc. So again, I get my search results. I can view those search results in the list or on a map view. So here's my map view with the different doctors in that area, linking through to a page about that doctor with each individual doctor's page having its own map. In order to try and reduce load on overworked A&E departments, we built this mobile first website for the NHS, which allows users to look for a particular service based on their time and their location. So in this example, I'm looking for a GP nearest to me, which is open right now. In this website, which I'm showing from my iPhone, you can see how we use maps to display information on an information page. So here I'm going to a ski resort, and on that ski resort page, you can see amongst all the other information, I've got a map that shows the location of the resort, a peace map, and then a 3D tour of the slopes.